Welcome to the Tower of London, a place full of history, and tonight will create even more as the legendary 16-time champion of the world, Phil the Power Taylor, takes on the 13-year-old darting sensation, the world youth champion, Leighton Boom Boom Bennett. It's the Prince versus the King. So here we are then, a unique opportunity, the power at the tower, Phil the Power Taylor, arguably the greatest dart player that ever lived, takes on the world youth champion, 13 years old, Leighton Boom Boom Bennett. Phil Taylor, where's he been and what's he been up to? Well, he, he retired after losing in the World Championship final to Rob Cross in, in, in 18. Since then, he's, he's been doing a bit of DIY. He, he loves it, he loves it. But it, look, he still plays a lot. I, I saw him play Peter Wright in, in Prague just a few months ago, and he put Peter to bed. And look, Phil Taylor's not going to lose his ability overnight. And against Leighton here today, he's going to want to just, look, I know you're 13, I know you're one of these, these absolute freak of, of, of natures, which that's in a real nice way, by the way, Leighton Bennett. For him to be as good as he is, Phil will still want to put him away. Phil will still want to, want to lay down that, that marker and say, look, pal, you are good, but you're not that good yet. But the trouble is, Leighton Bennett is. He is that good. Phil Taylor, like I said, doing the, the, the DIY efforts and... Look, the man's an absolute Just genius, enjoying retirement, basically. He is enjoying it. And the thing about him is he's got no pressure on his on his shoulders. Well, he didn't have until today, <laughs> playing a 13-year-old sensation. Uh, we know Phil. We know that all he wants to do is win and be successful. Now he's not a professional darts player. He still wants to be successful and win. So nothing's really changed for him. He's just not under pressure that often. How would this 13-year-old boy approach this? He's playing the greatest player that's ever been on a stage that's going to be live streamed in front of you know family and friends and um, some celebrity audience. Uh, it's quite unique, isn't it? It is unique. We, we, we've seen it, haven't we? we? We've seen the setup. It's quite intimidating because everything's quite close. Leighton Bennett, like I've said, I've, I've, and it's a term of endearment, by the way, that, that freak. I've never seen ever in my life a 13-year-old so good. Whether it be, there was a guy in, in the mid-80s called Mark Day, played for England at the age of 16. You had James Wade, another. Michael Van Gerwen is the one that kind of stands out. Uh, I won an event. I won a £50 note when I was, when I was 13. Leighton Bennett is winning thousands. He won 5,000 for winning the, the, the BDO World Youth Championship. This kid is an absolute sensation in, in all aspects of the word. We've never seen the like. We've never seen a Phil Taylor before. We saw him and we were getting to grips with it. Now it's getting to grips with Leighton Bennett. How good can he be? Can he progress? He's 13. If he progresses, do you know what? This is going to become, oh, I played the, play the, uh, the Tower of London when I was 13. So what? I'm now doing, I'm now doing Madison Square Garden when mm. I'm 25. How good this kid can be, I don't know. But I'll tell you what, we are going to find out. Leighton being associated with Target Darts, being, being mentored by Rob Cross and Phil Taylor, but for me, it's the management. They're, they're looking after him really well, Nevada Sports, but SAP. For, for Leighton to be associated with such a huge concern, a, a huge company, is, is amazing. Not, not just for him, but for darts in general. We have never seen a great big, a great big multinational like SAP take an interest in darts before. They're associated with, with Bayern Munich. That, they've, they've sponsored some of the best sportsmen the world's ever seen. Now, Leighton Bennett is associated with them. How good is that for him? It's going to be good. And we caught up with them earlier, and this is what they had to say. The power at the tower, who ever would have thought that in a million years? Would you ever think that people, Henry VIII lived there, and now I'm playing darts there? Mad, but absolutely fantastic. It's a massive dream come to, to, to play him as well after his retirement, because when he retired, I thought I'd never get the chance to play him, but then, I got the sponsor with SAP and Nevada and they've helped me get the sponsorship and that and obviously they've helped me with the exhibitions like Prague, I played James Wade there and now to come to Tower of London as well to play Phil Taylor, that's, that's just even better. I've enjoyed my break to be honest with you. I still watch a little bit of dart, I'm not a big f watcher, I like playing more than watching but I've just... Um doing my own thing really. Phil's been always my hero but when, it, when he retired I was absolutely devastated to be fair just because I love watching him you can never give him any chances or hope because he's the like, best player in the world. Oh young Leighton's brilliant yeah 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 I'm really looking forward to it 
And I wouldn't say, you know, that he'll beat me and I wouldn't say I'll beat him. It's, it's, he's a very, very good little player and he's a nice kid as well, which is, which is a breath of fresh air in fairness. When I'm on it, I think I've got a good chance, but it's all on the day, in it, so... If he beats me, he wins fair and square. The SAP most people don't know is innovative and creative and out there every day changing the world. There is no part of running a business that SAP isn't plugged into. SAP has offices in, I don't know how many countries. You can probably fill this in somewhere, like down here. This is how many countries we're in. I'm in charge of SAP's incubator, where we really focus on unlocking the potential within SAP. I've been in the SAP ecosystem for about six and a half years. I was working with startups, and when I came in, I saw this incredible level of talent, and I haven't looked back since then. I am an applied data scientist. I am trying to use data and machine learning to help inform decisions. Everything that I do is used by somebody immediately. Every model that I build is used that day by its end consumers. That's incredibly gratifying. I've always wanted to be in that entrepreneurial space where you have the freedom to explore. That's always what excited me and drew me into SAP. Our customers face problems day in, day out, and they look at us to provide the right solutions. We let designers work with developers, with salespeople, giving perspective on how the whole company can work together. I originally joined SAP as part of the Silicon Valley Next Talent Program, which is a rotational program for new grads. I was expecting a standard engineering role, but I was exposed to so many other parts of the business. At SAP, you have all sorts of opportunity to work with new technologies. We're a company that is focused on experimenting constantly. I have the freedom to choose my tools and to build products with the best things that I see fit. SAP is a company that cares about ideas. That's a uniquely motivating thing for somebody who wants to create change in the world. If you're exploratory in nature, if you like playing with new tech, this is a place that you want to be. Battle at the Tower commence. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. A very warm welcome to the Tower of London. Yes, a very special match brought to you by SAP and Nevada Sports Management. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome our viewers joining us on YouTube and Facebook, and now it's time to meet our players. Firstly, would you please welcome the BDO World Youth Champion, the 13-year-old talented data. Would you please welcome Leighton Boom Boom Penny! <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the greatest player in history. He is the record-breaking, history-making, 16-time, the champion of the world, Phil, the power So, ladies and gentlemen, to get the action underway, it's our referee in charge, Mr. Russ Bray. Yeah. So, Phil Taylor takes to the hockey at the Tower of London playing the 13-year-old sensation, Leighton Bennett. Well, darts has definitely grown. It's gone from a nightclub in Essex to one of the most iconic buildings in the world, Rodri Stud. 
How did that happen? I don't, I don't know. It was certainly nothing to do with you, Wayne. And, and uh, really looking forward to this, actually, because this is the kind of matchup that just transcends generations, doesn't it? As you mentioned, 13-year-old against 58-year-old Phil Taylor. 45 years between the players, and Taylor had titles galore before Leighton Bennett was even born. And here he is, learning his trade against the master himself. And these are the games he'll learn so much from, won't they? I mean, the, the World Championship, the BDO, magnificent victory. But how much will he learn from being on the hockey against Phil Taylor in the best of 19? Well, it's, it's an, kind of an odd situation he finds himself in because Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The pair first leg Phil to throw first in, in game on. circumstance. It's like a, a, a contrived stage set in a in a setting that's that's definitely not red darts before. They've just got to cope with it and see how they find the experience. But we know that this kid he's 100. special. He really is. Good start. He was born on the 31st of December 2005. <laughs> Do you remember what you were doing on the 31st of December 2005? One well, it didn't take long for Phil to get into his stride. Uh, that's around World Championship time. It is. The day after One the day, 40. 2006, you were playing with Phil Taylor yourself in the semi final of the Circus Tavern. Well, you don't it's one of your litany of failure in the <laughs> semi finals. That was one of the ones you should have won. Y yes, one, one of the, the very, very few. Well, Taylor's maximum in this leg, backed up with a couple of other decent scoring visits, have left him on 121. 55. Phil, you recall Doesn't need to worry about going for the ball at the end of this. This was the finish that Leighton Bennett took out to win the BDO, wasn't it? Indeed, and that's celebration as well. What's Phil going to do? Going for 45? Fancy double eight, Phil. Game shot in well, the first leg. How many times have you seen him take out one to one over the first game on. Wherever many it is, there's another. What a start for Phil Taylor. 12 dart one. leg, one two one, 180. Nervous, nervous start from Phil. Yeah, a brilliant start from Phil Taylor. And well, we know, as you were mentioning earlier, his last competitive game was that World Championship One final move. when uh, Rob Cross played the game of his life, averaged 107, defeated Phil Taylor seven sets to two and denied him that fairy tale finale at the Alexandra Palace. But he One kept move. himself busy, not in competitive play, but when he plays exhibitions, as he has done all over the country and all over the world, he's still competing, isn't he? Yeah. He, he doesn't turn up an exhibition and clown around like other darts players. He plays to win. In, in he does. He, he absolutely hates... An opponent hitting that double and shaking his hand and saying, unlucky, pal. And he's on the One receiving end. Out he, he likes to win. And whilst he's, he's now not a competitive dart player, he still hates that losing. And Leighton Bennett now is going to get a shot at 161. One right he's settled in. He really is. And, and feel leaving a, a tailor. It's taking him two legs. <laughs> 59. To leave a bogey number, but Leighton Bennett didn't need to take out the 161. But you fear here, from his point of view, that Taylor's going to be pretty close to the finishing post himself here after these three. 95. Which leaves Leighton 70, and now Bennett looking to take out 102 to level the match. Double 16. 86. Phil, you require 70. Well, there used to be a kind of rule of thumb, and that was miss a double against Phil Taylor, you'll end up getting beat. He took out Game double eight on the first the leg, leg, took out double eight that Phil leg. Phil Taylor. The bad shot was the 59 Third from leg. the 161 Phil for Leighton. First. That put him under pressure. Phil taking out the 165 on. in just five darts. Yeah, he's enjoying himself now, isn't he? Two out of two on the doubles, two out of two on double eight. There was a 12 dart leg to kick off involving a maximum. 100. But it will be you know, really invaluable learning stuff, this for Leighton Bennett. We could you use an analogy for another sport. When Stephen Hendry was a teenager, One right manager, uh, Ian Doyle took him on a tour to play Steve Davis six nights running in Scotland. And he got beat six times. But what he actually learned from playing Davis made him the player he was later. Yeah. And Leighton Bennett will learn plenty from this, win or lose, won't he? Yeah, 
Absolutely bang on. 60. And I'm just continuously watching Leighton to see, to see his mannerisms, get used to, to watching him. We're definitely going to see a lot more of him. He's got such One a talent. Red and 40. And he's in and around it again. And he plays at a real rapid pace. Eighty-five. What he's done here is taking the darts off Phil Taylor and should be first to a double here. He needs a break of throw, obviously, back after losing his throw in the last leg when he missed double 16 at the back end of 102 attempt. <laughs> one, two, one left. Yeah, he certainly doesn't like switching, does he, Leighton? You can already see that. There's been three or four times he's one sided to the left. 134. Of the hockey. 121. Phil putting the pressure on again. 51. 57. Well, that's a, a minor slip. Phil Taylor has already taken out 1, 2, 1 and 70. Can he be perfect on the Dublin again? If he can hit a 54 and then bullseye it. You know what he wants. Bullseye! 97. Leighton requires 64. That was for 3-0 for Phil Taylor. And Leighton Bennett with one dart in hand at double Game 16. Was finished, last dart in Leighton hand. Leighton. And a teenager on the ball. Full flag, Leighton at throw first. Game on. Well, in the second leg, Leighton missed a dart to one right out take out and goal two for a 15 darter. Well, that was a 15. It's been a high standard so far from these two. Just keep reminding yourself one right out that 40. Phil Taylor is playing this standard at the age of 58. But even more so, Leighton Bennett one is playing to this standard at the age of 13. 13! Phil Taylor's average, well, was 110. It's going... One we're only in the fourth leg, and Bennett averaging 101 himself. That's the standard they're playing at here. 59. Well, Leighton Bennett there making a mathematical error. Wanted 261. Hitting the 20s fine, but then you can't well, get the 19s right really. If you miss, you can't leave a shot. And Phil, after just nine darts, wants 41. 82. Yeah, he Who opened up with a 12 dart salvo, one. didn't he, in the opening leg? A chance of an 11 here for the power. Double 16, the pick. Game and in he goes, his second dozen data of this Phil match. Taylor. Fifth leg, second break Phil of throw to for throw the first. 16 times world champ. Game on. And Leighton Bennett there, in any normal circumstances, had a pretty reasonable leg to leave 120 after 12, but yeah. didn't even get a poke at the Shanghai. So he must feel in some ways that he's playing against one of those one right that he will practice against, and it just keeps <laughs> going out after 12 repeatedly. Well, we had a brilliant shot over Phil's shoulder 86. there. He's averaging 113. The year Phil retired... It was incredible that when you think about winning the match plate. 100. And beat Gerwin Price, beat Raymond Van Barneveld, Michael Van Gerwen, and Adrian Lewis and Peter Wright. What a run. 59. Some said that was impossible. He had never come through that lot. Well, he did, and he obliterated every single one of them. And he's still playing that kind of darts. One round and 40. Yeah, when you think his first world championship was 1990, which is three decades ago to all intents and purposes. One round and 40. Dominated the darting landscape for two of those decades. 45. They go 14 to leave 32. 89. Phil Taylor's decision to go treble 15 rather than 11 for ball shows you all you need to know about his mindset in this yeah. match he's not turning up 60, trying to put on showpiece finishes pull out easy. shots he's not interested in that he, he wants to win this game he won't want to lose to this precocious game teenager shot in the fifth leg Phil Taylor six leg the first this match, game on. remember that final against Gary Anderson the world final when he had such problems on that area of the ball but uh, 60. he's rectified all that over subsequent years and 
authoritative on that segment. 4-1 to the power. 100. He's hardly had a dart a straight. Well, Leighton will be disappointed with that. Only a ton after hitting a, a perfect 60 for him. Leighton Bennett was playing county darts at the age of 11. That means he's playing on, on a big stage at the age of 11. 80. He was winning games as well. He really is uh, someone that you, you just don't see the like ev every day. It, it's incredible the amount of talent he's, he has. 100. Yeah, and just for comparison, the great Michael Van Gerwen was 14 when he first reached the final of a youth event, was winning youth events at 16, hit a nine data on TV at 17. Yeah. So, Mike Bennett has got the jump on Michael Van Gerwen. Yes. <laughs> yeah, when... Just, just take that in. He's got the jump on Michael Van Gerwen, who's capable of the greatest darts we've ever seen. 140! How he develops and how he progresses will be fascinating. Yeah, when people say we have literally never seen the likes of Leighton Bennett, we, we have played to a standard that 13-year-olds just don't do. Double 12. Game well, shot. Lovely finish. Three round. figure out shot. Clean as you like from Leighton Bennett. That's what he is capable Seven of. Seventh leg field to throw he first. To let you Game know on. what he's achieved. He almost left the stage at the lakeside, didn't he, after hitting the bullseye to win that BDO final. And there was. Some, I, I didn't understand it, but there was some criticism floating about. I mean, for goodness sake. Yeah. The boy had just won the World Darts Championship at the age One in a maximum. Yeah, that, that's... It's urgent. That celebration was amazing, wasn't it? It was one of, of sheer joy. And I'll tell you what, we don't see enough of it in, in life in general. So when you do, just think about what that person's feeling. Yeah, it was great. 97. Well, the third dart finds its target on the cover shot. And there's a reasonable chance of a break back here to get back to just a leg behind. And he would have the darts, of course, in the eighth leg. Remember, Taylor led 4-1. 100. And now Leighton Bennett threatening to get back within a single leg and make it back-to-back -back legs. 100. Phil averaging 105. Leighton Bennett, 99. Like I said, just remind yourself that he's 13. Just keep doing it. 137. <laughs> Late in the requirement. To make it 4 3. 1 2 4. Triple 18. Leaves the ball. Game shot in the seventh round. Late in 101. Back to Late the Late in the throw first. Check out from Leighton Bennett. And now he's got Phil Taylor thinking a bit here, hasn't he? <laughs> he's gone from 1 4 down to 3 4 in the twinkling of an eye 96. off two three figure out shots. The response from him. That's what we want to see. This, th this could be put no! 30 years after he's, after Leighton Bennett's won 15 one world championships. Fulton. This was the first time he really, really saw him play. Okay, he beat Nathan Gervin in the, the BDO final, but this is this is completely different level. This is this is shocking. <laughs> well, the speed he's to the hockey and back again. You'd like to watch him play Yellow Clarsen. The best of 19 would last about a quarter of an hour, wouldn't it? <laughs> One so accurate to it. One. You know, he really is the future of darts in every sense, isn't it? It's yeah. great to watch. And Phil Taylor is having a job slowing him down here, trying to rein him in like some sort of wild bucking bronco that's just got loose. One round on 40. Late to be quite 164. Well, well he's over here, Wayne. One round and fourteen. Better waiting on a double twelve finish. This is a real pivotal moment. Yeah. One dart only at tops. Big moment. Sixty-two. Unusually, the power 24. not up to that big moment. What a marker. Game shot in the Go on, did you hear that? He's making Getter in Price seem Nine muted. Phil to throw Look first. At this. Game on. 
Three legs off the trot for Leighton Bennett. And uh, <laughs> he, just, he almost get the feeling he just wants to burst out into a, a real big grin. He's enjoying it so much, isn't he? And he, yep. why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you enjoy 99. it? 99. Yeah, I get, he's averaging 101 now to feels 107. I just get the feeling that... I don't literally mean he's becoming annoyed, but he's, he's becoming annoyed that Phil's actually getting a turn to throw. He wants to throw all the time. I've, I've had a go, but I want another go. Let me at him. This is magnificent. 4-4. Four, four. 85. What goes under the sporting sobriquet of Boom Boom. I like famous tennis player Boris 60. Becker and golfer Freddie Couples. Remember him, Wayne? Yes. Well, if he... Has as much success as the three-time Wimbledon champion and the former US Masters champion. He won't have done so badly. Well, he couldn't follow up the perfect lie on the first dart, Phil Taylor. He'll be disappointed with the outcome of that turn. And he'll be even more disappointed that this is... One round of 40! I think already you can tell that Leighton Bennett, yes, he's, he's, a, he's a first dart player, but he seems to have that ability to to not be out of, of any leg because at any moment you feel we can just wrap in a max or back-to-back -back 140s. He seems to have that ability. 81. Then we require 161. Yes. <laughs> no. No, but it does leave 64, so. and uh, well, he needs to say he won't take this out, though, because we've seen 124 and 101. Not this time. One round of 40! Not Taylor who he's about, isn't it? 64. He's lurking to take the lead if Taylor misses. Can he get one dart at a double? 48. <laughs> Leighton requires 4 20. 1 down. Leighton Bennett was 4 1 down. Game shot on the ninth leg. Leighton well, Bennett. I'm sure he hit that before Phil would actually. Tenth walk leg, back. Leighton had thrown first. <laughs> Phil Taylor was still walking back after retrieving Game his on. darts. <laughs> well, Leighton Bennett took out 64 in the third leg. Phil Taylor couldn't follow suit in the ninth leg. Bennett broke. 40. Leads for the first time in the match off the back of a run of four consecutive winning legs. And for people watching this all over the world that have heard things about Leighton Bennett, well, 85. they're now seeing Leighton Bennett yeah. and impossible not to be impressed because, as you're fully aware, Wayne, when you go 4-1 down to Phil Taylor, it's very easy to curl 60. up like a caterpillar, as you did on so many occasions. But <laughs> he, he's just completely ignored the scoreboard and who he's playing. He's, he isn't scarred. He couldn't care less who he's playing. He just loves picking up darts and throwing. One round of 40. There will be a break after this leg. 45. And Leighton Bennett, obviously, obviously will be looking for 6-4. But if you had have said to him at 4-1 down, Rodri, you're going to go in, not behind, pal, not behind, he'd have had some of that. 31. Yeah, five all. A great result from 4 1 down for sure. But the mindset has changed, hasn't it, after this winning one streak? One round of 40! Moves in front in this leg, albeit by 29 with Phil at the hockey. But if the power slips here and can't find a treble. 58. This leg very much now in Leighton Bennett's hands. Oh, we've seen him at 140s galore. If he could hit another... 85. He'd be, he'd be annoyed at that. Not that he's showing it. Phil Taylor knows that a couple of trebles will leave him on a double and then he'll be odds on to win the leg. Late to require 100. But whatever happens now, that 87 isn't a gimme. For Phil 91. Taylor. Phil, you require 87. Well, he's going to get one dart. And it will be at the bullseye. Game oh, that's a brilliant finish, that is, from Phil Taylor. It really Phil is. Bear in mind, his opponent was on double top. Which, had he hit it, 
Phil Taylor would have been 6 4 behind, and a last start in hand, bullseye finish for Phil Taylor levels the match as they go for a quick break. Five apiece. Yeah, the player's just having a break. Just for a couple of minutes, as you see, Russ Bray just, just saying to Leighton, go on, you, you've got a couple of minutes off, son. You've done well so far. Well, just to, just to give you a, a recap of what was happening during that, the very first leg, Phil Taylor at 180 and a 1-2-1. He went 2-0 up. You just get the feeling that Leighton Bennett was not overawed at all, Rod. Um, we know he pulled it back and then went 4-1 down, but let me tell you, for a 13-year-old to stand up to the most successful player the world has ever seen, averaging well over a ton at that point, yeah, it, it's just incredible to me. Well, at the end of that session, Phil Taylor average was 101 and Leighton's 97. That's the standard we've been watching so far. And as you said, from 4-1 behind, well, there was some resilience then. There was some br uh, brilliant finishing, wasn't there? 101 out shot, the 124 out shot as well. And, and kudos to Phil Taylor because he could easily have gone 6-4 down then and the bullseye finish in the end off 87 could make a big difference to the match. Yeah, very much so. But what's really impressive in, in my eyes with, with Leighton Bennett, and I, I did kind of touch on it, is the fact that he can kind of go 60-60, but then he looks so likely to me to put in a, a big three-figure score. And if you can do that, he's a very, very good grouper of the dart. And if you can do that, you're, you're never out of a leg. And he, he kind of showed that to go 5-4 up, where he wasn't really in it. He, he did a couple of, couple of 60s on the bounce, and then it was 140, followed by an 81 and a 140 to leave a double and takes it out. He's very, very good under pressure. But I don't think he feels it at 13, does he? <laughs> no, I don't yet. think so. He was uh, playing in the JDC events last weekend, wasn't he? And he, he won both of those in, in Solihull, and he averaged 105 almost in one of those games. That's the, the level, uh, and the short course games, don't get me wrong, but anyone that's capable of averaging 105 over any period of time yes. is a serious darts player. It doesn't matter whether you're 13 or 33, yeah. does it? When, it? when it matters. When people play, it's fine. When people play, it's fine. When people say game on, it's sometimes not fine for some. So to do it under pressure, which is the game on moment, Leighton Bennett and Phil Taylor are doing it. Yeah, the, the question will be when, when does he turn professional? When does he try and mix it with the big boys on a, on a regular basis? And it's going to be something for him and his family and his management team to try and work out how they plot his progress because he's got so many years ahead of him we're well, saying Phil Taylor here playing at the age of 58 I mean so you know name the number of years that Leighton's yeah. got ahead of him and it's just a question of mapping it out for the best way that they can map out his career and get him to develop and of course he's got to do all this with schoolwork yeah. and all sorts in the background as well so it's it's not quite so simple isn't it no it, it's not it's not a case of just turning up at it in 140s 180s uh, like you quite rightly said with all his schoolwork and and just being so young, he's got to deal with it. And now he's ever going to deal with, with all the pressure. Uh, we don't know. We just don't know. No one knows. Not even he knows how he's feeling right now. Yeah. But he's certainly holding, holding it all in. But we've seen so many precocious talents over the years in all sports. In all sports. So let's just hope that he can uh, carry on for decades to come. Yeah, there's a change of... Wayne Rooney, isn't there? You know, bursting onto the scene at 16 and an international, very young age and Premier League goals and all that kind of thing as a teenager. And that's what he's going to have to be trying to be managing. And it's going to be fascinating to watch him go through. Remember, it's the best of 19 legs in this match here at the Tower of London. Uh, Leighton has got a very, very good team behind him. We've mentioned Nevada Sports and SAP kind of trying to direct him in the right direction and they are a multinational 60 billion pound concern we're not we're not talking about bob's taxes here he's going to get looked after he's ruined it he's ruined it russ bray getting in on the act like he does <laughs> 
Now they're just having a few more throws and then they will commence battle. We are at the Tower of London, if you're just joining us. Yes, yes, it's a darts match. You've got the power at the tower and boom, boom, giving it some. Well, power was dominant by the other tower, wasn't he, in Blackpool over his career. 16 match plays, you mentioned the 16th of them, Wayne, so memorably, a couple of years ago. 16 match plays, 16 World Championships, 11 World Grand Prix, 6 Premier Leagues, 5 UKs. In fact, if you carry on listing all the titles, he's won the match probably finished by the time I got to the end of them, but the most astonishing run of catalogue of honours. That's it, we got it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The 11th leg in the field to throw first. 12 World Game on. before Leighton was born. So here we go then. Phil Taylor back on throw. One round of 40. 10th leg. <coughs> yeah, with that 87, a much needed 87. 100. Has normal service been resumed? Remember, he was 4-1 up in the game. Back came Bennett, and kudos to him because 59. one down to Phil Taylor would have been so easy to lose your head, particularly in a match at the Tower of London. <laughs> Very good. One run of 40. The speed he's throwing at. Phil Taylor is being, well, not forced to play at a pace he's uncomfortable with because he's managing to rein it in, but being almost tempted into playing at a pace that he doesn't want to play at by the speed of what Bennett's doing, both his throw and getting back to his hockey. Yeah, a lot of people have tried that over the years. Some, some have succeeded. We've seen him throw too quick at times. But in general, Phil Taylor has been the absolute master at dictating the pace of a match. I just think that... Well, that was unfortunate. Just clipped the flight and took Easy. the momentum out of the dart. The right use of the word momentum there. Leighton Roderick. require 161. But Leighton, he's not scarred like, like other players. 97. Phil, you require 122. That he's already taken out once, and Phil Taylor's left 122. The ball. Game starting the 11th it. leg. Last Phil time, Taylor. he missed the ball for the 1-2-2. He hit the ball for the 87, and then after the break, he's hit the ball for the 1-2-2 as well. Yeah. 60. With uh, Leighton Bennett waiting on 64. Savage darts from Phil Taylor. Well, we're 11 legs in. 60. We really have seen some quality. The finishing. Really has been top notch. 45. Phil Taylor's taken out a 1 2 1, a 70, an 87, a 1 2 2, and a, there's a 101 and a 1 2 4 from Boom Boom. One bad after 11 legs. The actual correct one of this gaff. <laughs> The, the Tower of London is actually Her Majesty's Royal Palace and Fortress. Is it really? Yes. 60. Well, Phil Taylor turned almost every darting venue in the world into his fortress, yeah. didn't he? Like, 135. <laughs> but on time to go 6-6 six, six here. I asked uh, Phil the question once. Phil, what's your, what's your favourite venue? Well, I, I do like the Winter Gardens, but I, I kind of like them all. <laughs> <laughs> 41. Leighton require 161. 97. Well, 64 left again, not for the first time in this match. Well, that tells you a few things. That tells you that he throws straight enough, and when he goes down for a cover, the 57. One up! Otherwise, Phil may gain two-leg advantage again. Well, he's hit this before last night, and this time he's missed as Taylor's Phil fourth maximum 60. of the match. Forces an error and leaves him a two-dark combination. 20 for double 20. 
Game shot in the 12th leg. From Phil Taylor, Phil Taylor there, Taylor. because that leg seemed destined to be pocketed Phil by Leighton Bennett. First. But Taylor off the maximum, and then the combination finish Game on 60 on. has gone too clear. Well, you hear all sorts of kind of sayings and 100. whatever you in darts. Oh, you've got to score. You've got to hit 180s to, to get down to the doubles. Oh, you've got to hit doubles. Yeah, you've got, you've got to do it all. That, that's how you win. Well, Phil Taylor is scoring well. He's finishing well. He's proving an, a pest to Leighton. Well, Phil Taylor isn't remotely interested in going 99. back on the professional circuit. He's just not interested at all. No. He's got other interests and he enjoys his exhibitions and he enjoys... Relaxing a little. One round and forty. Where do you think he'd be ranked? Oh wow. Michael Van Gogh would be number one. It's hard, it's really hard to assess Gary Anderson's form right now. All right, here's another I'd question. I'd put him in top four. We, yeah. One round and forty. Wouldn't be many players would start favourite to beat him in a match, though, would they? No. Ninety-six. The grind of the tour, he just wants to enjoy showcasing his magnificent ability in the hockey, which he still is showing 96. us this evening. I well, remember Taylor now has made a real run of legs. 5-4 down, 100. now looking set Here we to go. 8-5 up. Yeah, they really have kind of reeled off legs on the bounce, these two. 50. Late we require 105. It's getting to that point where these are having to go. 45. Tops. Game oh. shot in the 13th leg. Late the man. pace, the rhythm. Look at that. 14th at leg. That. Late in the throat first. Game well, that's on. the third time in this match that the 13-year-old Starlet has pulled a three-figure out shot out of the back 40. to win a leg when under huge pressure. 101 in leg six, 124 in leg seven, and then we just saw it, the 105 in leg 13 after Phil Terrell missed one dart at double. 60. But would have expected more often than not to be back for more. Remarkable finishing. One right out, oh, and also 40. Be that many professional darts players on the circuit that would start favourite to beat Leighton Bennett either. <laughs> Is there? Seriously now? 177! Well, that was much needed. Just gives Phil not a breather, but it gives 100. him just that little bit of time to, to regroup and think, right, OK, I'm not chasing for, for a second. Because after that, that 105 went in, Leighton put together a couple of big scores that had Phil running for cover, but the 177, much needed. Well, a really good match, this. One round out, Fantastic. Not just the quality, it's the, the way it's ebbed and flowed. Leighton Bennett come into this game. 97. A reputation require of 81. being the next wonder kid. Well... Bullseye. 51. I think no matter what happens, no matter what the result, he's going to leave with even more credit and more people talking about him in sheer disbelief of, of his ability. Treble 19 needed. Can't leave. Double 16 from the treble he was aiming for. Now then. Double 15. Double six. Game shot in the full tank phase. Whatsoever. Lane Lane Lane. Inside double 15. 15 play. Phil to throw first. Game on. Actions. A, a lot of people in general in the, in the world can be in, intimidated by someone as successful as Phil Taylor. It's facts, especially dark players, obviously. Well, especially in this instance when Leighton was chatting earlier, wasn't he? Yeah. Saying that Phil Taylor was his hero in darts. And you know, here he is playing against him on a <laughs> level playing field. There's no handicap start here. He's not going off 301 with Taylor's on 501. And he's he's putting it up to Phil Taylor, isn't he? Yeah. And you get the feeling that the reactions 100. are exactly what he wants to do. He's not he's not being restrained, he's not being confined in any way. 
His mind is just left. Oh, no! Freedom. And you're not scarred, you're not battle weary. You're a dangerous animal. And at the age of 13, 13! <laughs> One not really Bennett, a has it. fully grown animal, is he? He's more like just like a cub. <laughs> just a cub. He's a cub, yep. But he's bearing his claws One there. That's his second maximum of the match. Leaves a bogey. Yeah, there is no doubt that, that Leighton Bennett still has things to learn, but that's, that's frightening. 171. Oh, so was that from Phil Taylor. The 171. Leaving double 16 to regain Still the lead. 32. Close now to the finishing line. First to 10, remember. Goodness. Well, we heard Phil there, didn't we? He gave it a whoop. Well, there'll be another whoop. Game We're shot in the 15th leg. Phil Taylor, 16th leg. Phil Taylor to go the back in first. front in this Game seesaw on. struggle. Well, that's twice Fulties. in this match now that Leighton Bennett has had a dart below the treble. Decided to stay there, and the second dart has not made its way through and fallen out. There's there's room for improvement there. Just a, a bit better ball management. <coughs> He'll learn. 60. Well, this is all getting a bit tight now. Can Phil Taylor just sense a bit of tightness around... Leighton's shoulder and arm muscles. 60. Well, there really hasn't been much in it. And it may well come down to the fact that Phil Taylor won the ball to throw first in a 19th leg decider because it's an even contest. Yeah. Well, this has been the worst leg by quite some weight. 100. Leighton has to hit a biggie. Otherwise, Phil could be thrown for the match in a minute or so. It's not hit a treble in this leg. Leighton Bennett and nigh on every dart has been low. One and forty. And uh, underlining Wayne's point, two more darts that are low. Three darts that are low, and this leg now could be absolutely crucial, and Phil Taylor will know that. Break here, and as Wayne says, Taylor will be throwing for the match. Phil's always been very, very knowledgeable 97. about what's going on. He's always aware of... Right, OK, this happens, that happens. I know the situation, been there before. 85. Phil, you require 44. That this 44 will put daylight between he and Leighton. Ian off. 12 score. Can you say Leighton it, Leighton? Can you? 143. Well, this will be a fourth roof raiser at the tower. 42. Find the magic. Phil, you require 32. Yes, he's a bit more relaxed now, Phil Taylor, isn't he? <laughs> Wasn't laughing and joking a few legs ago. Were you, Phil? That's a lovely dart, man. <laughs> Phil Taylor. He realises now he's got a vice-like grip on this match. 17 he's got play. breathing Phil space. To throw first. Game on. Two up with three to play here now, the power. Yeah, just looking at Leighton Bennett in the background just a few seconds ago, he was kind of jumping around. He was just getting that little bit frustrated. 44. Mind you, that was after the, the worst leg he'd played in the match, which he, he did have a bit of a stinker at the precisely the wrong time. Yeah. Just having trouble finding a treble 60. at the moment. Naturally, that, those legs, you want to avoid at all costs, but if you are going to have them, it'd be a lot better to have them on the Phil Taylor throw, at least. Yeah, of course. No real damage done, but 60. as it was, it was his own throw. It got broken. Given Phil Taylor the opportunity to throw for the match and wrap it up 10-7 if he can hold throw. But we've seen Leighton Bennett run off four consecutive legs once in this match. Can he run off three here? Yeah, and like I said, he, he does have it in him to 
to all of a sudden go a couple of 140s and get himself back in the leg. He needs one. 100. Yeah, that's okay. Got himself in front in this leg. Really has become quite tense, isn't it? Yeah. 96. For sure. I'm feeling kind of relieved to see the last dart hit the treble 19 because he's conceded the throw in this leg to all intents and purposes. So Leighton Bennett first to a finish in the leggy knees to keep the match alive. Would have the darts in leg 18. 140, late to the climb 146. Another. Oh, go on then, double 16. Wow. Wow. Phil, we require 106. A little bit of respect there, but Phil knows 106 will do the job. Oh, he stayed there. Double 13. Game. Oh, and it's there, Shot. Phil Taylor. And the Phil That's Taylor! Another magical three-figure out shot. A turn before Leighton Bennett missed double 16 for a brilliant skin-saving 146, and had he taken that out, we'd been back at 9-8, and Bennett would have had the darts in the 18th leg, and we could have gone all the way to a decider. That was a brilliant match, it really was. As exhilarating as it was billed at this magical location at the Tower of London, we saw Phil Taylor there wrap it up with a 106. He had four maximums in the match, averaging 96 in the end, 92 for Leighton Bennett. But it was some brilliant stuff. Phil Taylor, the highlights, a couple of bullseye finishes, an 87 and 122. And Leighton Bennett, well, he took out a host of three-figure out shots, a 105, a 124, and 101, two maximums himself. Terrific entertainment at the Tower of London. Leighton Bennett goes down in the end to Phil Taylor by 10 to 7. And Wayne Mardell's talking to both players, Phil Taylor and Leighton Bennett. <laughs> Right, ladies and gents, uh, for everyone here and everyone that, that watched it on, on the stream in Life at SAP, we hope you enjoyed it, because we certainly did. I just want to have a word with the, the two protagonists. First off, Phil, tell me about that experience. What was that like for you? First time I've ever sweated in a dark tournament, trust me. He is, just doesn't, I said to him, you don't give in, he just doesn't give in. Even when he I left him, I think it was 146 or 140, whatever it was. And I was expecting, I turned around and I went, what's this? And I was expecting, yeah, do you know what I mean? Like you used to do. And he, he missed the double eight. So thank God. Otherwise, I think he'd have got me. Uh, Leighton, it, it's, it's really early in your career. You, you're having a, a, a privileged time to actually be here. So are we. Uh, the whole day. Have you enjoyed it? Oh, absolutely loved it. Playing Phil Taylor, you don't get to play him every day now. So playing here as well, Linden Tower. So dream come true. You, you were four one down. You got yourself in front. Were you thinking, I've got him, I've got him? When I went five four, I thought mm, I've got a good chance now. I, I was happy to get one leg even. Never mind seven. So cheers, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, happy to get one leg. Yeah, now Phil, you've you've played in you've played in some special uh, arenas, but this place, the history of it, does it does it make it kind of just feel even more even more special than, than what today is? Because it's not a normal day of darts, is it? This? No, not, not not never in a million years. For my family, Lisa especially, my mother was massive into the Tudor times, Henry VIII and all them kind of things, you know, and, and they know everything about everything. So for me to come down to here and play at the Tower of London, I honestly thought it was a wind-up. I thought they were going to lock me. I thought somebody's going to lock me in the Tower of London and have my head chopped off or something. So I wish that had done 15 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I, I thought, honestly, I thought, said to Bob, no, nah, this ain't true. There's no way are we going to play in the Tower of London. It's a dream come true for me. And out of all the venues that I've ever played in, and Blackpool's my favourite, this is the most special venue I've ever played in, ever. Wow. Amazing. Uh, the, the final word is going to go to you, Leighton. I'm just going to ask you one quick question. School tomorrow? No. 
<laughs> of course not. <laughs> of course not, he offered. Now, <laughs> now look, ladies and gents, we hope you've had a, a great time watching that. Leighton Bennett and the winner for this evening, Phil the Power Taylor. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Now, I just want to bring in someone else. What, they, what we do at SAP, we want to know the, the actual experience that everyone is having. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to work with, with Mike Taylor, who's uh, an audience member. But basically, just to get the fans, the, the, the fans' perspective and the experience that it was for the fans. So can we bring in Mike? Hey there, Mike. How are you, mate? Right, Mike. Life at SAP, you are live. Right. How did you enjoy that, mate? I thought it was, um, it was so entertaining. Leighton, he's um, a special, special player. And to come here tonight and get to watch it, it was amazing. Phil now obviously retired. <laughs> and um, it's just, it's brilliant. Absolute brilliant. That experience of Leighton and obviously playing Phil, I think it's good for him. And we're going to help him with the development from now on. Have, have you ever been to any darts events before? No, nah, not too many. Not too many. I have to admit, I did play once, and um, I played my hero, and I managed to win that. So um, that was Phil. Who, who was that, and when was that? It was at Alexandra Palace in the <laughs> final. So. Um... Hold on, what's happening? What's happening here? Oh, stop that. <laughs> Ladies and gents, the 2018 world champion, Rob Cross. <laughs> oh, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we hope you've had a, a great time watching this production at home. We certainly have. And hopefully there'll be another amazing. power at the tower. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Thank you.